Hello, welcome to Quick Tip 78. And I had a question about formatting indicators. So I've created a very simple little indicator here, which is just plotting, calculating an average, two, two moving averages, or in fact, a moving average and a exponential moving average. And then it's plotting those values. And uh, we're just gonna apply this to the chart and studies, add study, and we're going to find quick tip 78 and say OK. So you can see that the initial settings means we've got uh, an orange line, a blue line, and they're of a certain thickness. Now, having applied it to the chart, if we wanted to make changes to how it looks, we could just go simply to edit studies and then customize. And we can look at the settings here to start with color. So we've got it plot one and plot two, they're the colors we're seeing at the moment, but we can change those. So for example, if we didn't like that orange, we could change it to a pink. And if we didn't like that blue, we could change it to a green. And we can now say, okay. And you'll see that those colors have changed on the chart. Another thing we could do, we're just going back doing the same thing again, uh, customize, we could decide that, well, we'd actually like it if the lines were a little thicker and we would do that here. So we might say we want the lines to be plot one to be this thick and plot two to be this thick. And also we can change the look of the line and we've got line at the moment, but equally it could be one of these different items. If you want them both to be lines, then we'd have to go and make sure they're both lines, which they are at the moment. So I'm gonna say, okay. And you'll see immediately that the thickness of those lines changed. When we, if we were to remove this tutorial from, or this quick tip from the chart and then reapply it, let's just do that. You'll see that we've gone back to the settings that we had before. So actually, if you wanted the new settings to appear, reappear, then one way of doing that is to make the changes. So let's just say that we want plot one to be thick, plot two to be somewhat thick, uh, color, uh, we're gonna change that into a green. We're gonna change this into a pinky pusey color. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the default. So I'm going to click default and say yes and OK. So we can see the changes we've made immediately. If we go to the program, we can also see that it's saying, do we want to re reload it? So let's just uh, experiment with that and see if actually we do get those new settings when we reapply it to the chart. So I'm going to delete the indicator and then I'm going to go back and add the indicator again and you'll see now that we get the new settings but we don't get the line thickness so let's just go and have a look edit studies customize and style let's just go back to the style so we're going to make line one thick if I let's make make both of them thick but what I need to do here is just click default again and say OK and close. I'm just going to look at the program and let's try removing the study and reapplying it. So study, add study, and hopefully this time we'll see that the colors and the thickness has changed and it has. OK, so that's one way of doing this. Another thing we could do if we go to the program itself and we want some settings to apply whenever the program's applied, we could actually set the defaults here. And what we would do is right click on the program, go to properties, and then go to chart color to start with. Now we've just changed it to that, but let's try something else. Let's go for purple color. Let's go back to that blue color. And let's just say the style Let's just say that that was a little too thick. So let's just go down, make that into less thick. 
I'm going to say default there. Make sure that the uh, those are default. And I'm going to verify the program and I'm going to remove this from the chart. And now I'm going to apply the study yet again. And we should see the default settings that we've just created. And there you are, you can see the, uh, the purple and the blue. And if we were to go to another chart, uh, for example, this chart here and add the study, you will see that those settings appear again. Now that's another way, the second way of doing things. What you might like to do though, is for example, in this case is use some of the plot settings to sort of bake the settings into the program. And what you've got a choice of, you can change the color and you can change the name. Default is just there for potentially future use and you can change the thickness. So let's just copy this into our program. And you'll, so what I'm basically doing here is I've made it so that plot one is gonna be white and it's gonna be thick. The other one will take the default. So I'm going to verify that. I'm going to go to the chart and you'll see now that already that thicker line is appearing. In other words, we baked it into the program. There's, uh, there's not more control than that available at the moment, but um, that at least allows you to change the thickness of the line and the color. So that's a very quick run through of some of the ways that you can uh, reformat or format an indicator. Hopefully that was useful. Thank you.